Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a general message for whoever is meant to watch this. These are general messages. So we're gonna get into your reading. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for all the likes, the subscribes, the comments, the emails, the donations. I really appreciate that, you guys. I just wanna say thank you so much because I love when you guys support my channel and I feel the love and I'm just really grateful for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're gonna get into your reading. These are general. Take the messages that are for you and the ones that are not, just ignore them. And let's get started. So what are the messages from spirit, your angels, your guides, positive energies only? Let's see. All right, what is your first card messages from your angels, guys? What do my viewers need to know? Angels, guides, positive energies only. What's the message? Okay, you are otherworldly. You are also being given some type of a blessing because you keep giving... Um, I heard you're giving donations, you're giving offerings, you are someone who had a strong past life as a royalty or a family lineage, it's like very highly sophisticated, well known, you were like some serious, I'm heard you're like the big deal, like you were like big shit back then is what I'm hearing, your first card is the six of pentacles, you're strong manifestors is what I'm seeing, I'm also getting if someone was trying to block your third eye or crown chakra, they're not going to be successful with this. Some of them are trying to do this because they're jealous of your abundance. I heard you're a celebrity or you're well known. You're in the public eye. Some of you guys could actually be a random celebrity who comes across my reading. If you are a serious like celebrity, like someone famous as fuck, like email me. <laughs> Emails in the description box because I feel like you guys are going to like someone might resonate with this and they're like super famous or they're up there. Very well known. But I'm also getting a side message is that you're very well known in your own particular community. You're very well sought out. People like to come to you for advice. They are just realizing that you're getting a lot of recognition. You're very famous. You're very popular. Your throat chakra is now healed and you are just really out there expressing yourself. I'm hearing voice, your opinions. People are jealous that you're moving forward. This could be a Taurus or someone who was just very angry about your financial stability and success. You have a lot of spiritual abundance. You're a very wise person. I heard a wise counsel person or a guru. It's like you just know your shit is what I'm getting. And people are jealous. They try to block your blessings. Not going to happen. I'm also getting you're leaving a lot of offerings to your spiritual team and you're manifesting good things. All of the negative stuff people wish upon you is going to be transmuted into something beautiful with the emperor the sphinx i'm also getting you could have been dealing with someone who was very flighty in and out and because of that you're going to be blessed with a financial blessing you guys have money coming your way i'm also getting you have a past life with someone that it's very difficult to cut cords with but you are doing what's best for you this person could have been mirroring a lot of energy that you needed to heal vice versa i feel like you are healing yourself the other person is not so spirit is asking you to take time out to really see what you want to do. A lot of you are going to be releasing someone from your past or you already have let this person go because you are choosing yourself. The emperor is about standing in your power, being strong, realizing that you have a strong leadership trait. I heard you have a long history with this person or you have a lot to do with some of the memories that you guys both have. It's like you've been together for a while. You had a past life. And in this lifetime, you're choosing yourself. Love, angel number 333, three, three, as I'm saying that. Some of you guys could be Aries or Taurus. You don't have to be. With the Ten of Wands, I'm hearing initially that all of the burdens that you guys had are going to be released. Like, you've been through a lot. No more. It's over. With the Five of Swords, someone's having a hollow victory. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I just did a pick a card about who's thinking of you because we have the upcoming Mercury retrograde coming up. So I feel like this is already, like, starting to take effect. Like, it's not official until the 10th, but I feel like... It's already here for some, especially a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the Knight of Pentacles is you being very defensive, protecting your energy. They took too long to commit is what I'm getting. And with the Five of Wands, they're upset and they're trying to cause drama because this person wants to fight for you, but you don't want them anymore is what I'm getting. I'm also getting you're changing your mindset with regards to your um, finances and because of that now you have money coming in left and right with the two of pentacles you're very focused on what you want with the archer this is giving me sagittarius vibes you're very motivated to pursue the things that you need and your angels and guides are helping you to achieve that you have the three of swords and the two of swords so i feel like with the two of swords upside down <laughs> this alien card i'm sorry this alien card is making me laugh because it's like 
they're kind of like creeping up on you on the side like hey do you see me but it's almost like you see someone for who they are now you see the truth and you've made a decision with the two of swords reversed upside down it's like you're not going to deal with this energy that is flighty and consistent you see the truth you're choosing yourself you're stepping into your power you're claiming back your energy you're not heartbroken anymore is what i'm seeing you're choosing to walk away from the liars the cheaters the sneaky people whether that's a person in a relationship a friendship a family member whatever this is you see the truth and you're walking away from it because the three and the two of swords together is a five of swords you know this is a hollow victory i'm looking at a butterfly right now as i'm shuffling these cards scorpio energy and we have a full moon in scorpio so that's coming up very soon. I'm getting goosebumps. So Santa Muerte is here. And also getting, if you're not a devotee of Santa Muerte, you're going through a transformation. You're releasing something stagnant or toxic that does not serve your highest good. You're not giving your energy to people who are draining you or taking from you. And they're not giving the same type of energy of love in return. You're getting rid of all of these energies. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups. Because you're finding yourself love. It's like the Kraken, right? It's like you are bringing down the house you're destroying all the shit that is not meant for you you're kicking it to the curb it's like kick rocks i don't care i don't want this anymore someone's birthday could be in june or gemini could be significant because it was 6 18 on the clock as i was saying that um but that's for some not for all and the four of pentacles yeah it's like you have heard your higher calling kundalini awakening the snake the serpent the cobra it's like you are transforming yourself into this beautiful venusian energy guy or girl it doesn't matter you're going through a spiritual change and it's very beautiful it's something that is so majestic it's beautiful and it feels so so fucking good like that's what i'm hearing like you feel like you can breathe again it's like finally there's light coming through like yeah there's light at the end of the tunnel six of swords lots of purple here really um connecting to root chakra energy healing yourself being grounded remembering who you are singing your soul song 711 angel number with the way how she looks like she's singing here with the harpy i feel like music is very significant for you you need to sing your song you guys literally need to sing i don't care if you think you're terrible at singing who gives a fuck is what i'm getting sing your songs like hear your voice you need to speak it out loud into the ethers into the universe like speak the things that you want to manifest i'm beautiful i'm abundant i'm successful i am enough i am a strong manifester i am successful every day like i got what i need and what i need is what i got like you know like your spiritual team is here and they're helping you all the time the queen of swords libra energy you're stepping into your power you're really strong with the amazon you guys could have been spiritual warriors like the valkyrie like serious like wonder woman viking thor type of energies like you guys are super strong spiritually abundant 808 whether you realize that or not it's like you are like super super enlightened and connected to your intuitive gifts and that's something that's very beautiful did you hear that alarm in the background some of you guys are clear audience and that's confirmation that what i'm saying is true like you're so abundant you're so intuitive you're so psychic you're so gifted and it's like wow it's refreshing it's like a freaking mermaid coming up out of the ocean and like her freaking mermaid tail is like splashing in the water and like it feels so good like it's just i don't know it's very refreshing the energy that i'm feeling it's amazing and yeah with justice more libra energy with the valkyrie i was just talking about this and spiritual warriors are also associated with the crystal of amazonite because it talks about how strong you are you've been through it but you always are able to come out on top because you have a strong spiritual team that's always fighting for you and you have so much faith even though you can't see your spiritual team some of you can but even though you can't see them all you have faith that never dies because you are pure of heart and you really believe in the divine 9 11 archangel michael is protecting you and you're just so strong you really are people are getting karma Whew. with the justice card someone is definitely getting karma for all the bs that they did to you um they don't want you to know is what i'm getting with the queen of pentacles you have a lot of financial blessings coming your way that you have been manifesting and they're finally coming into fruition i was talking about seeing a butterfly as i'm doing this reading and there's butterflies on this card and i'm actually next to a tree and it's funny because this is a tree so it's like you guys have fairies elementals spiritual energies mother nature mother gaia like you have a lot of good energies around you and they're helping you manifest the things that you want 
the most with the three of wands the time is now you have been doing a lot of work with reaching out to your higher self doing soul searching it's like you're doing things to help prepare for something new a new beginning you know something's coming you don't know what it is three days three weeks three hours and number three is very significant you guys are going to know once you see this some of you guys might be watching it at three o'clock three 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 um angel number and the energy of love the king or excuse me the knight of cups someone has their eye on you <laughs> they're watching you they think you're beautiful they love your energy they're very attracted to you the time is now for you to finally have the things that you love for some i'm getting it the time is now for you to actually have love and yeah with the queen of wands lilith vibes i feel like you're very much connected to the love of yourself and because of that your vibrations are so high people are noticing you and you're actually manifesting true love someone has their eye on you they see you as very beautiful very sexy if you're single i do see someone coming towards you that wants to give you stability they want to get to know you you're very beautiful you're very appealing to the opposite sex or whatever type of energy that you want to connect with people are feeling your vibe and they're digging it like they really really like you you're gorgeous because some of you guys have this like sexual appeal because some of you guys were witches in a past life you just have that magic within you <laughs> i heard that magic boom boom you know what i'm saying so anyways <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry that was love coming through i feel like her energy is like just be sexual be who you want to be be confident and don't let anybody dim your light when it comes to feeling like sensual and sexy like be confident like who cares what people think if you feel good about yourself then feel good about yourself if you want to wear the tank top with the little strappy string whatever wear it as long as you feel good who cares you know yeah with the six of wands move forward you have positive movement forward you do have haters who are upset that you're moving forward you may have an aries leo or sagittarius or someone with a strong fire placement that's very upset that you have found your strength and confidence to move forward and not let anyone and nothing dim your light also getting someone could have sent you a negative entity to your home and they were not allowed to enter with the five of cups yeah this person was blocked 12 12 angel number you have an enemy who tried to send to you a negative entity attachment and it was not allowed to come to your home you could have heard something outside your window you could have heard a noise at your doorstep whatever this was you know whoever's watching this you will know if this message is for you because it is obviously not for everyone but if this is you comment down below but i just want you to know that this negative energy was not allowed in your home they were blocked they were trying to send this attachment to block your heart space to hold you down some type of attachment to tie you back to hold you back to stop you from moving forward towards your blessings and your spiritual growth but that energy was not allowed it was blocked the universe said no you're not allowed to come here and the way that my phone just flew, <laughs> flew. <laughs> my phone just flipped down but anyways we're gonna keep this reading going <laughs> let's see oh uh, right there okay 13 13 three of cups as i said that the only reason why this negative energy was not allowed is because you are blessed mind body and spirit all the spiritual work that you're doing here this woman here looks like a kitchen witch with the orangey red hair lots of sacral chakra very passionate with what she is doing here with her candle work with her divination tools this is you guys really stepping into the energy of loving who you are and raising your vibrations and as a result of that this energy was not allowed to enter <coughs> oh man excuse me one second <coughs> Oh, sorry guys i feel like <sighs> archangel michael protect our space <clears throat> someone's mad that i'm telling you what happened and look at even here see my like the light is like orange and yellow so someone was really trying to affect your sacral chakra solar plexus chakra <laughs> and they can't do it you felt when this person was trying to spy on you or connect with you energetically and they're upset because they thought they could be sneaky but they can't block you because the universe isn't allowing them why because you're so grounded because you've left so many blessings all of the things you've manifested are finally starting to grow those seeds are now being like <clears throat> what is it called they're blooming it's like april showers bring forth may flowers and the may month of may is here so it's like it's time for all these blessings to bloom i'm also getting if you were part of my um, group ceremony your blessings are starting to come through let me know you guys if you see any significant changes from that 
group ceremony because I feel like a blockage is being lifted and you're going to start seeing that and that's something very beautiful. Yeah, with a page of cups because you were really genuine. Some of you guys play music for your spiritual team and they appreciate all the little things you do because you do it from your heart. You guys are so connected to nature. It's like you have the energy of nature within you because we're all energy. You guys really get the whole like energy vibration thing. Yeah, and with the Knight of Wands, it's like the music, the maracas, the rattles, like everything you guys are doing. Music is the sound of music. It's like you wake, you awaken the earth, like the spiritual realm. Like you hear the sound of the earth. It's beautiful. Like I can't even explain it. The energy right now is just, it's amazing. And your ancestors are with you with the Eight of Wands. They hear you. You hear them. They're all here ready to fight for you. Spiritual animals creatures of the dark that you don't even really fully understand what they are but it's like you have some strong spiritual animals that are otherworldly and they're all here protecting you like I, that picture is like the three-headed dragon it's like you have some strong energies look at that with the ace of cups and they love you because you love them you guys are so connected the energy of the giant well is upon you is what i'm seeing here with ocean you guys are very oceanic Atlantis type of energies some of you guys could be hearing or seeing glitches because you connect with um light beings star seeds of some sort aka also known as aliens <laughs> yeah the king of wands the palladian star seeds and god anubis is allowing you to communicate and identify your akashic records and you're finally starting to see who you really are who you were in a past life and how you are meant to fulfill that significant life purpose in this lifetime to do it better to do it right and to get it done hell yes i heard nike swoosh like the check mark like done like you're getting it done because you're the high priestess and you're so connected you evolved you read your tarot cards differently now if you're into divination tools like tarot you can read the crystal balls better like you read whatever you're doing excuse me i just burped so i feel like that's an energy release but it's like whatever you're doing it's like times 10 now you're like holy shit like the energy is unbelievable yeah with the chariot the time is now get to work collective you know what you need to do continue to do your spiritual practices the time is now spiritual evolution ascension the time is now i keep getting like it's now it's right now like this is the perfect peak season do it the bottom of the deck we have the ten of swords you have a hater gemini libra aquarius that was not able to stop you with the seven of swords because this person was very hateful whatever they tried to send it's coming back to them jokes on them because you are moving forward here with the hangman this person tried to send you some negative demonic entity attachment it was not allowed to come through it was blocked by the universe by the most high why because literally lady death santa muerte herself stopped this nonsense because you're a strong devotee of her la negra came through because you lit the black candles of protection and she she is protecting you always if you really want to know is what i'm hearing this is the message santa muerte protected you for those who are her devotees <clears throat> the ace of wands from someone who is doing sex magic to affect your spiritual i'm hearing your spiritual life your abundance as well as your sexual energy with the seven of pentacles this person wanted to change the time the blessing so that it could come towards them and it was blocked it was not allowed because you have already manifested what you truly desire with the king of cups you have true love here from someone and i'm hearing the love of santa muerte is protecting you as well whoever was trying to cause a psychic attack here with the nine of swords is blocked because you are not going to feel burdened by love anymore this person that tried to send you a psychic attack was trying to burden you with love because i know that you have so much love to give but you guys already did a reversal with the seven of wands you are protected i'm hearing god anubis the underworld protection spirits if you're a um like a necromancer type of vibe or a um medium and you speak to the dead it's like they are protecting you even in your sleep and all of the candles that you lit are protecting you but the main message that i got from all of these cards is that santissima muerte is protecting you guys from anyone and anything negative and toxic and they cannot harm you anymore they're not allowed they can't come in your house they can't spy on you if they try they get glimpses of what santa muerte wants them to see they cannot hurt you they cannot send you anything negative they get stuck these negative energies are stuck and with this imp i feel like this is that negative person kind of like what the hell like how come i can't get in there anymore how come i can't spy on them like i used to how come i can't invade their space energetically 
because you're blocked dumbass <laughs> because you're yeah it literally like the devil like they try to send you some negative demonic energy it's blocked they try to do sex magic here with the with the knight of wands and with the five of wands now reverse it's like they're trying to affect you but it's not happening like these cards here it's like they just need to stop with the knight of pentacles reverse this person cannot harm you anymore they can keep trying but i'm hearing that song you keep on knocking but you can't come in <laughs> it's like maybe you guys did hear knocking i don't know let me know but i'm getting like this person tried to send you something evil and it was stopped <clears throat> yeah with the four of swords it's like this situation was put to rest they couldn't come towards you these energy vampires could not attack you because your spiritual team is protecting you always yeah with the knight of cups you have a strong spiritual deity or an energy a spiritual ancestor a guide you have a protection spirit or some type of uh what do you call that when you have an energy that protects you um it's not a gargoyle fuck i can't remember the name it's like a servitor i think is the word let me know guys if i'm saying the right word servitor 2112 i don't know you have a protection energy though you guys have puppets or like some type of i think it's a servitor it's like if you have like a let's say a gargoyle right because i said that as an example if you have a gargoyle like a statue or figurine and you're like i want to put the energy of a protection spirit into this gargoyle or this gargoyle is literally i'm going to charge it with energy and it is going to protect me that's what it did that's what i'm getting it is protecting you say thank you is what i'm hearing yeah with the five of swords i'm not getting the five of swords as a hollow victory i'm getting like i was talking about a gargoyle and the wings came out so it's like they're just kind of chilling here this statue this figurine that you have in your house and they're waiting to see like i'm just gonna hang out and then when something tries to attack my my witchy person's house or my wizard's home or my master's home whatever it's like whenever you whenever this energy feels like your space is going to get invaded by negative energy it takes action to protect you look at that the knight of pentacles it's just waiting and whenever something negative comes through it stops it so that's what happened last night someone tried to send you an attack for those of you who resonate it didn't happen it's not coming through it's been blocked in all times and places why because this person is getting karma justice is being served you are safe you are protected and balance is being restored expect a beautiful blessing whoever is watching this that might be negative or trying to harm you they can't harm you even if they try it doesn't matter you literally have holy death protecting you and your home and everything around you so you are safe you are protected i send you many blessings and thank you so much for watching bye guys